in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. La voce di Maria dentro l'anima mia come un balsamo scende sulle ferite e le porta via la voce di Maria For our good night message on this Wednesday the 8th of December 2021 the solemnity of the immaculate conception of the blessed virgin Mary Broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this inspiring message entitled, Lessons from Mary, the Mother of Jesus Christ. We are drawing closer to Christmas and as we get closer to Christmas, the church gives us an opportunity to focus on Mary, looking at Mary and how God intended her to be from the very beginning. She was kept sinless by God from conception because God who formed her in her mother's womb had already designed and decided that she was going to help in bringing the Savior into the world. And when the time came, she had to answer the call, and that's the reading we had today in Luke chapter 1, verse 26 to 38. The first lesson we learn is that Mary, the mother of Jesus, was willing. She was obedient. Behold, I'm the handmaid of the Lord. Let what you have said be done to me. And the angel departed from her. Luke chapter 1 verse 38. I am most in awe at Mary's willingness. She accepts this strange will for her life. And with her only question being that of a simple biology. How can this be since I have not been with a man? Of all these lessons from Mary, the mother of God, I can honestly say that I pray the most for this one. I pray for willingness, being in a position to be available to God at his service, even when I do not understand what he's asking me to do. The second lesson we draw from Mary is that she was humble. We could expect Mary to get a big head, after all. She was carrying within her the long-awaited and promised Messiah, the one the prophets had promised would deliver them from bondage and set up an everlasting kingdom of peace. But Mary's second notable characteristic is seen when she visits her cousin Elizabeth. Her words of praise show that she remains a humble and willing vessel even after she had time to think about it. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked upon his servant in our holiness. Henceforth, all generations will call me blessed. Luke chapter 1, verse 46 to 50. The Magnificat. When we look into our lives and see how God elevates us, how God takes us to levels we never thought of, we have no reason to boast. And the more God elevates us, the humbler we must become. The other lesson we draw from Mary is that she was obedient. We see this in Luke chapter 2 verse 22 to 24. Now when the days of their purification according to the law of Moses were completed, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Luke chapter 2 verse 22 to 24. Mary was obedient to the law of the Lord. She was obedient to God's word. And this is a lesson she's asking us to draw in our own lives. 
being obedient to God's word is listening to the word and allowing it to have influence on our lives. The other lesson we draw from Mary is her dependence on Jesus. Mary turned to Jesus right from the beginning. We see Mary's faith in John chapter 2, verse 1 to 11, when she asked Jesus to perform the first miracle. He protests and she ignores him because she knows what he is capable of. Turning to Jesus from the very beginning of our lives, turning to Jesus when we wake up in the morning, making him the first thing we think about before we even touch our phones. As such, looking at what Mary teaches us, we must be willing vessels to do the Lord's will in our lives. No matter how it changes the path you thought your life was taking, how often do we complain when circumstances change and we find ourselves not where we want to be? Be a willing vessel. God will work out all the details. Humility is the theme we see over and over again throughout the Bible. Pray and ask God to make your heart humble. Repent of any obstinance and pride and take Mary's example of a lowly handmaid. Praise and worship God from your place of humility. This praise will open your heart to acceptance of His will as well as enable you to hear directly from Him. Praise closes the gap between you and your Creator. Keep some of the thoughts to yourself. We are all chatterboxes, at least a number of us. And sometimes we just want to speak out. And some of the things we want to speak out may end up putting us in problems. Mary quietly pondered these things in her heart. She was not quick to share these miraculous events with everyone. And sometimes we need to be quiet and introspective. Mary quietly accepted it as God's will and waited patiently as it unfolded. And then study God's word. Mary was obedient to the law of God. She knew what was expected of her as a child of God. She followed the law and was obedient to all that God asked of her. I've heard people say that the Bible is a book of do's and don'ts, which is not altogether true. But some have tried to sugarcoat it to make it more acceptable to those who don't like rules. Studying God's word will bring you closer to him in many ways. Mary was obedient to the word of God. And she wants us to draw our strength from God through his word. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Amore di Maria, dolce poesia, Gesù sul balcone, sempre di più in